I've been wanting to do this for a few days, but I just haven't because I'm a procrastinator. I really need to get to cleaning this bank. There's a lot of stuff in there that I really don't need. This first tab seems to be okay. Up here I have all my clue scrolls, following up with some summoning stuff. I have a ton of spirit terror bird pouches, which I'm probably going to keep. I don't know yet. The beast of burden stuff is pretty useful. The only reason why I don't consider keeping them is because if you go to that one ogre city, you can trade in some spirit pouches and you can get some of those charms back. Not charms, but the spirit shards. I believe you can also do that with the scrolls too, I'm not entirely sure on that one. I have some eggs here that I can't hatch because my summoning level is not high enough. I believe these eggs require 60 summoning, which we don't have. Then I have some gems for placeholders because I do mine gems every now and then. I really want to train crafting this way. Essentially, this entire first tab is mostly for all my crafting stuff. I guess the only things that I'm going to remove from this tab is probably this guy because I don't even know where this guy comes from. I think you get this guy down there. There's some things we have to get rid of, like these small bags of components. Actually, I think I'm going to keep those there just because I think you need this for invention. I don't know what you get from this stuff. I'm afraid that if I open one of these bags, it's going to give me a lot more items than just one. And I don't know where to put those. So, until I get invention, I'd rather just keep these as a single placeholder, I guess. We also have to get rid of these tokens. I haven't done one of these D&Ds yet. If I have, I just forget that I have these, and I don't even use them. So we're going to have to figure out what to do with these at a later point. We have some Royal Battleship kits, which, honestly, what is this for? We're going to take those out. We have this Triskelion keys. I don't know what these are. I just kept them. I have Fragment 1, 2, and 3. I have some cheese here. I don't know why I have cheese here. I don't know why I have these gloves either. I think this stuff was for a quest. I don't remember what quest that was. I'm going to throw those out. Should I throw this candle lantern out? I'm sort of leaning on keeping it because I think there's some quests where you have to have a lit candle source. I'm sorry, not a candle source, but a light source. You know what? I'll just keep it. I'm going to keep this rope too. I believe the only reason why I kept this was because that's where the only luminite site was that I knew of. Now I can access that one mine in the dormant mine, so I think this is sort of pointless. But it looks pretty cool, so I suppose we can keep it. I definitely don't need this beer or this sandwich. Those are going to go out as well. We're going to open these six bird nests. We're not throwing those out because we could use the seeds. We have a lot of strong hunter urns. I made these for that one specific video where I was going to use them to train hunter. But because I can't make mud runes, I can't activate them. I'm not going to throw those out. Maybe we can make those mud runes at a later point. This necklace actually shouldn't go here. I think I'm going to get rid of this animal name reroller. I don't know if I should keep this rabbit. It's not very good XP, so I might just throw that one out as well. I don't know why I have these room pieces here. I probably smithed these on accident and banked them. I'm going to drop those. Here's another bird's nest. And here are my dungeoneering items, which I have to find a spot for these. Okay, you know what? I think this tab is okay. It's organized pretty decently, except for this body. I don't know where I got this from. It looks pretty cool, though. I'm going to put it in my miscellaneous tab. Actually, I'm going to take these muddy keys and these crystal keys. We can open a specific chest with both of these keys. I think the crystal chest, or at least the chest that can be opened by these crystal keys, is over entirely, so let's head over there. We have one full inventory of junk. Let's start by getting rid of this first. What are we going to do with this one again? This bot will automatically look to recover data when harvesting from lustrous memories within the Hall of Memories. Well, I suppose we can get rid of that one after we drop this rune stuff. We can destroy this animal name reroller. Wait, you know what? I'm actually going to use this on one of the farm animals I have over in Ardone. I think we can get rid of this one. I believe this was a quest reward. I suppose we can check it before we actually get rid of it. This rabbit is constipated. You know what? I don't want to deal with that kind of crap. We're going to release it. No pun intended, by the way. But you can drop the beer, like we said. Actually, we can drop all of this stuff. Okay, let's get rid of this construct. Totally forgot we need to get jars for this. I think we should be fine with two of these. We only need one more data recovery from this object. Uh, oh, there we go. I wonder what this does. I've never done one of these before. Memory successfully recovered. This bot should be returned to the archivist within the Hall of Memories. Okay, let's see what all this is about. How's the little memory storage bot doing? We just got 10,000 divination XP from that. I don't know if you saw it. You will now benefit from the following. Extra passive effect from the Memorial of Gothic's Fountain of Energy. Excellent work, Automaton. The recovery process looks to be complete. There are still other core memories that need recovering. You do not appear to be experienced enough yet to take on another memory storage bot. Alrighty. Well, that's that. 10k divination XP from that piece of junk. I'm not going to finish this stuff. Okay, now, what is this stuff? Royal Battleship Kit. A construction kit that allows you to create royal battleships, which you can send into battle. What, what, what in the world does that even mean? Toy Royal Battleship. This gives me 1k construction XP. You know what? I'll take it. We're actually going to get a level from this. I guess it's not junk after all. Nope, we're not going to get a level from this. We need 140 XP left. Oh well. Oh, there's more stuff that we can do with this ship. Which type of royal battleship do you wish to deploy? We're going to go with defensive. Hey, this is pretty cool. Can I pick this up? I'm actually going to keep these. 
But you can deploy these bad boys and just watch them. Oh, they're actually pets. They kind of follow you around. You may only have one follower at a time. It is a follower. Yo, this is cool. You know what? This one's actually going to stay out. I'm going to keep the rest of these. Okay, time to open up the bird's nest. We're going to quickly click on all of them. We have two banana tree seeds, one apple tree seed, two acorn, and one orange tree seed, and one raven egg. Well, we already have a raven, so is this even necessary? Is there different colors? I'm going to bank it just in case, and I'm going to put these with the rest of my seeds, which we also need to rework. Drop all these bird nests. Destroy this unfinished smithing item. Well, actually, I guess we can go finish this. It's at 78%, and then we can drop it. Okay, this is going to take a lot longer than I expected. Alrighty, this is done. Let's head over to Ardo and so we can use his animal name Reroller. Before I forget, I'm not going to drop this. I'm actually going to high alchemy it, because I could use those 20k. I'm cheap. Let's see, which animal should we rename? That one's called Bull. This one's called Candor and Cow. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. Oh, this one's called Bassie. The bull is called Mickey. I actually like both of these names. We're going to keep those. What about the sheep? We have Jeff the Ram and uh, Hodget the Sheep. I think we're going to get rid of that Hodget name. I really don't like that one. I don't know how this process works. Do we remove the animal and then use this die on the animal? Yes, pick a different name. This animal is now called Carly. So we have Carly the Sheep. Well, that's better than Hodget. Okay, that is done. Now let's head on over to Taverly and open those chests with these crystal keys. Hopefully that's where the chest is actually located. Whoa, my ship just... What happened to my ship? Oh, we just got a construction level. 65 construction, people. I don't know where this came from. My boat disappeared. I don't like that. I didn't even get to see how much XP that gave us. We can actually do a lot of new stuff with 65 construction. Thank you, little toy ship. We can have a greater teleport focus and a mahogany portal frame and an opulent rug. We can do lots of things. We're gonna have to build our house in another video. Okay, now I think the chest is in this house. I think it's this one, the crystal chest. We have one, two, three, four, five, six keys. Let's open up the chest. We got an uncut dragon stone and two grimy torso. I think these are actually pretty good, especially because we're being self-sufficient. We have another uncut dragon stone and uh, 200 iron stone spirits. This one gave us more stone spirits and another uncut dragon stone. Another dragon stone, and a tooth half of a key. Call stone spirits, and another uncut dragon stone. And the final key will give us more stone spirits, and another uncut dragon stone. Well, these are helpful. We can make a glory amulet out of this. Let me go bank this stuff. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this tooth half of a key, because I think we have more in the bank. We have two of them. I suppose we can keep them, because what if we need a dragon stone, and we have enough to make a whole crystal key? We can open up the chest over there and get some. A dragon stone, that is. Now, what are we going to do with this crystal Triskelion fragments? Can we combine these at all? I feel like these are combinable. And they are, cool. Now, what can I do with this thing? This key moves on its own, seeming to point towards something in the distance. We're going to keep this in the inventory and figure out what to do with it in a bit. Oh, we still have to get rid of these muddy keys. I think the chest that you use these muddy keys on is in the wilderness, so I'm going to bank this really quick. I don't have anything else on me. Let's go to the wilderness and figure out where this chest is. You know what, I think it's a terrible idea if I take all the keys with me at once. I've never been to that chest. If I get PK'd, that guy's gonna get all of these keys and all of my treasures. I should probably just take one. We should probably do every single key one by one, now that I think about it. Alrighty, we have to head over to the lava maze. Where exactly is the lava maze? I have no idea. It's over here. We're here, meaning we have to go through this door and then run westward. I mean, we could also just take this thing I believe one of these is over by the lodestone. Where is the lodestone? Oh, the lodestone is all the way down here. Okay, well, I guess we're going to take the lodestone. Hopefully nothing happens to us. I would sort of be upset if we lose this key. I really, really love taking this thing. Who is that? We are not near that other area. Let's activate it once more. Are we near the lava maze? I don't think so. I have to check. No, we're not. Activate it once again. Are we near the lava maze? No, I don't know, actually. No, we're not. How many spots is there? Are we near the lava maze? I think we are. Is this the guy that sells the capes? This guy's also a bank too. And we can actually bank the stuff here. Wow, that's actually really useful. I guess if we get some good loot, we can run back here, bank the stuff before we die. Oh god, these, these things are actually hostile to me. Okay, like I said, I've never been here before, so we're gonna bank the key first. We're gonna see if we can make our way over to the chest in one piece. Let's see how this works. There's a poison spider here. Uh, where do I go? 
What is this thing? What is over there? I really don't know where this is gonna take me. Oh, this is the King Black Dragon. I better get the hell out of here. This is sort of a weird spot. Why is King Black Dragon all the way out here? You can easily access him through the Edgeville Wilderness border. All right, well, this is not where we're trying to go to, so let's get out of here. I don't know how to get into the maze. Is it back here? Oh, it is, okay. There is the chest. Uh, we have to make our way there. How are we gonna do that? If this is a maze, I'm assuming there's dead ends. I think these are the dead ends. We have to go through here. It's pretty obvious, to be honest. This is nothing too complicated. All right, we made it. This actually isn't that difficult. So there's the chest. I guess now we can bring the rest of the keys. We're gonna do each key one by one though, because I don't wanna lose them all. What does this thing do? Climb down stone column. Oh, this is another layer. That's a greater demon. I guess we have to run all the way back over to the bank guy. Okay, well, I'm gonna open these keys because I really don't wanna show you me running back and forth 10 times. I'll see you in a bit. I used up all the keys in one go. I didn't wanna do one by one. We actually got some pretty good loot. I'm mainly talking about the dragon longsword. There's no other way for me to get this because I am playing like an Iron Man. So this is actually a pretty good steal. I'm really glad I got this thing. Oh, there's a PK or bank all the stuff, please, before he kills us. We're gonna follow him. I wanna see where he's going. Really quickly, as I was moving my way back over to a place where I can teleport, I just realized that this graveyard is erosion. The Zero Sigil is here on the statue. When I see this kind of stuff, I always wonder what it looked like before I went to shit. Okay, let's see what else we can get rid of. We actually have this preserved meat. I don't know if I should keep this. It says tier 80 constitution, 2,200 heals. We still have to figure out what this crystal Triskelion thing does. Or at least I have to figure it out, because you probably already know. Okay, so according to the wiki, this crystal Triskelion key, it's some kind of treasure trail thing. It's called Triskelion Treasures. We're actually supposed to head over to Relica. That is where this treasure chest is. Just by looking at the picture on the wiki, I think the, the chest is somewhere down here in this side. I think it's this thing here. Let's go ahead and open it, see what we get from this thing. You know, I probably should have worn my Luck of the Dwarves. What is all this stuff? We have one sealed Clue Scroll Elite, five uncut dragon stones, 750 coal stone spirits, and 125 adamantite stone spirits. Was this good loot? I don't know, you tell me. I literally wouldn't know. So I don't know what to do with this preserved meat. Apparently this is some rare drop from the muddy chest. I think I'm just gonna eat it right now. Eat it. Okay. Good riddance. Okay, I think we're good. I have no idea why I have these mushrooms here. I'm gonna throw those out. Moving on to the next tab, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff because I don't use this wand. Or actually, I think this is my best wand, so I probably shouldn't do that. I don't know what this ring is. Greg Grory Herring Ring. I'm gonna investigate. I don't know why I want these rune essence. I really don't need that. I'm gonna high alchemy these rune salvages. I'm probably never gonna use this earth battle staff, so I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna get rid of this stuff like I told you, and I guess this marks the end of this bank clean up session. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.